So hopefully you guys enjoyed that premiere. I really enjoyed making that video. I love giving you guys just the raw type of video, not the choreographed, scripted reviews that you see on so many other content creators' channels, but just raw. You know, the, the cuts, the edit cuts in there were minimal. I just wanted to show you the experience of flying the drone, how to use it from a real consumer's perspective, not the consumer perspective that some reviewers want to show you, which is, it's just so perfect, it's such a perfect world. Well, no, you do have issues sometimes when you're flying these drones. The, the software, the apps aren't perfect. And so hopefully it's good to leave that stuff in there to show you if you encounter that issue, this is how you fix it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. There's Ellis. Ellis, you can say hello. <laughs> no, he's not. But anyway, one of the questions that did arise is how did I get footage of the app into the video? How did I record the app on my phone? Um, well, actually it served two purposes that because I was actually recording the audio for that entire review through the app as well. And the way I did that, I plugged in my lapel mic into my phone, this mobile phone here. And then I used the inbuilt screen. It's a bit belated hello from Ellis. Hello. Hello. Papa's got record now. Hello. Hello. So I then used the inbuilt screen recorder in Android. You just pull down the status bar at the top and then in there you'll see screen recorder. And when you then launch it and click start, you've got the option no sounds or app sounds or app sounds and mic. So by selecting the last option, it records not only the sounds that you're hearing from the DJI app, but also any input you've got, such as my little lapel mic. And the audio quality is brilliant, as you could probably hear. These lapel mics, I use the Smart Lav, which is a Rode product. It's about £30, $35, something like that. But it's well worth the money. And it means that then you can record the app directly onto the into a video file, and it works so, so well. So anyway, hopefully that's a quick behind the scenes useful bit of information to help other content creators out there or others with a YouTube channel where you want to show the app. Elise, Papa's nearly finished. Children. But anyway, more videos from behind the scenes like this coming soon. Hope you enjoy them. And thanks very much for watching the premiere with me. Cheers guys.